Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to be talking about what is the difference between regular uh, triggering server event versus trigger event, and uh, what else? Well, and trigger, well, trigger event, which is uh, so. Let me just basically tell you um, in a rough description on your client side. So, triggering event would be something like. Uh, You'd register the net, register net event, which is a client event of vehicle spawn, and you would trigger the event usually in a command or a uh, a function, some something uh, like that. So it's more like a code explained lesson uh, for 5M. So usually client side. So we'll look at uh we'll look at like my police system. So we got two client side things here. Um, very messed up. Uh, <laughs> I have very uh, decent use of words. So in here, uh, this is functions. So how a function works is you would do a function and then what what is the function called? Uh, so let's look at daddy for an example, uh, which what this does is uh, basically it will find the vehicle It'll grab a vehicle. So you're passing a vehicle through daddy. <laughs> and what this is returning is the model, the plate, and the plate index, which is what the plate is. And in here, uh, it would then just return that to what is calling function daddy. Uh, in here, uh, this is a, one use of triggering a uh, client side event. Um, bitch, what? Uh, it grabs vehicle data and what I'm doing here is this was a native for ESX. Uh, this is old ESX uh, where we're triggering a server callback and we're grabbing the vehicle's info. So in here, we're passing through retrieved info. Um, and it would basically find retrieved info owner. So it would see who the owner of the vehicle was from uh, the database or from whoever owns it. And if the owner was nothing, I would have it register right here uh, owner equals fake ID and then math random right here. Uh, fake ID is brought up right here and it would grab a random, random plate here. Uh, but if it did have an owner, it would trigger an event. Uh, this would be a client side thing and you could read it right here. It would be a chat message and it would add the message. And, uh, in this, it was, uh, it would come back as to the police. So dispatch, uh, and then it would end. So let's go into client side here and let me explain uh, registering events. So registering event, you'll always have registered net event and an add event handler, which is what this add event handler is basically uh, getting this registered event. So you have this registered event and then you add the add event handler, which basically gives its, it, its uh, functionality. So in here we have that it's going to be a function and that it's going to need a vehicle. Uh, so whenever this is called, which should be, let me see if I can find it a real a quick. Um, doo -doo -doo. I could just search it. Um, so vehicle spawn, so V spawn, V spawn. And I think I have it on the server side actually. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let me open up the server side. Oh, I actually use this for something completely else, actually. Okay, so I use this for not even the police commands. <laughs> uh, so let me just tell you how it would work. Um, so you could make this command, basically. You could do a command, and uh, what it would do, it would spawn the vehicle, uh, plus your cords ahead of you, uh, which is basically what uh, the command SV is doing. And then it would use the uh, ESX game spawn for it, but uh, I realized game spawn wasn't really. I mean, it did a, it did a good job, I would say, and it would make sure everyone could see the vehicle. Um, so you would just trigger. So you could add trigger event or trigger client event or just trigger event in place, and then uh, so you register a command use trigger event for this and you would grab the raw for the vehicle and you could put that through and it would then spawn it. Um, 
for registering command, there's another way. Um, register command SV, which was a spawn vehicle for police. Uh, function, source, args, and then user. So I'm going to explain what I have in here and how it works. Uh, we're going to go back into police system. We're going to open up config here. So first things first, you get a, you, I have a for loop. So for i equals 1, and then you add the pound sign for config authorized locations. Uh, and why we do the pound sign, it will grab every single one of these and make sure that it's uh, you're in this authorized location. Uh, as it starts as 1, do, and then it says local authorizations equals config authorizations i, and then it will get the distance between that and you, and if it's less than 60, you will be good. But then it doubles checks. Uh, it grabs player data, so it's the ESX thing. Uh, player data, job name, and if it's police or off police, then you'd be able to spawn the vehicle. And now we have uh, two string args. I actually did this pretty, pretty bad. I could have made this a lot less code, but we're gonna go through it. Uh, if args is number one, then it grabs from config uh, vehicle list, but I did it very, very bad. I could have just used I. Um, and this is completely different. So let's uh, let's find something else that we could see. Uses a trigger event if possible. A lot of these are mainly just commands. Um, oh, here we go. So do, do, do we have a run plate? So yeah, yeah, we do. So this is a way of using uh, trigger events. So we have the registered event, pull run plate, which is just police run plate. Uh, and what we would do is uh, vehicle equals uh, the while function, vehicle data equals <laughs> daddy vehicle, uh, which basically goes back up to those functions and uh, will basically do it all for you. This is how to make it look very clean. And then if vehicle data equals nil, uh, you were just too far away from the vehicle, else then it gets the vehicle data and we'll repeat back to you. Uh, and then how it works is we register a command called run plate, which vehicle data, and then it would check if you were a government uh, worker. And if you were, then it would trigger this event, uh, which then triggers the following functions of wow, and daddy and if it all went through then it would go through the final function which is telling you who owns the vehicle and such now we'll look at server side um so we have server side functions in here and you can see the trigger client events as well so triggering client event uh you would only use triggering client event <clears throat> when you are on uh server side so if you're on a client side, it's just trigger event. So we'll go look right in here. And same thing with server. If you have a server side command, it would just be trigger event. Uh, Use this basically for ESX as it would just get the object. So uh, server side commands are, I mainly use them for connecting to database most of the time. So we have register command fine. And then what the function is, source args raw. Uh, basically, we would get the player from the ID. If the player job was police, then it would allow that. And uh, args1 would grab would be the ID of the player you're trying to find. And then the money, obviously, two number. Uh, two number would make sure that it is a, a number value getting passed through args2, so you couldn't write words. Uh, and then it would grab the source, uh, get the player from ID, from the ID you are plugging in. Uh, and then if it doesn't equal nil, if uh, money doesn't take, it would give you a notification. You'll find uh, this ID for this amount of money. And then it would give the notification to the next player. So the person you're finding, and then how much money they've been fined for, it would then trigger the client event uh, handing the animation. Uh, so it would be an animation sent to that person so that they did uh, did something in game. And then we would do X source, which is the player that's getting fined right here. 
and then remove account money, which is an ESX, uh, ESX function. Uh, it would take from the bank, and then money tank is money take is how much money uh, is getting taken. And then we have obviously error notifications if that's an incorrect amount, which would basically be if you put a hyphen or a letter in there. And then else, uh, no player if it didn't if your number was not a player. And uh, here's how you do a function in uh, the server side. You could do it similar to the way you do it in client side. You could do anything in a function basically. Uh, but I, like I, I, I said I do it basically based off of database stuff. So get print, uh, this is a way I use to get, uh, get people's name from their quote unquote fingerprint. So we would uh, add a fingerprint uh, command and then it would go through this. So get print identifier uh, is just the target of the player. Um, and the local result would be fetching all from their, uh, from the user where identify equals their identifier and then blah, blah, blah result. And then it returns everything right here. So I would be able to call this. Uh, so I'd be able to call result dot whatever and uh, grab that. Another, another way of using trigger client side events would be chat commands. So in here we have a paying tow uh, command that if you're a police, it would basically just give them money. So it's a it works like a fine command, I guess. So you get their player ID, which would be args one, and then we make them the X source, and then we said uh, if get player name, which if the players exist, basically it would add add money five hundred, and then it would send them a message to uh, the person sending it source. So we have source right here. And it's a toe uh, with this args, uh, their name, got paid $500, and it's, you've been paid $500 for your toe. And then we, uh, another client side of thing, which right here, this goes back to source. So anytime you do a client side, triggering a client event on the server side, you always have to identify who it's going to. So we have source up here, if we wanted, so, like this, we have, we're getting the player. We may name them X Force or quote unquote dumbass. Uh, and if we wanted something to go for them, it would be like this, trigger client event, chat add message, and then who's it to? It's to dumbass. Like this one, this one's to source, so it's a different player. Uh, yeah, you could see uh, right up here with the fingerprint, it works the same way, uh, except this is a little different because it's adding a uh, proximity message. And that's basically it. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for the difference between triggering events. So little rundown, little, little last rundown. If you're triggering event, if you have a server event that you need to trigger from a server event, it would just be trigger event. Uh, vice versa with client side. If you're on client side and you're triggering an event that is also client side, it would be trigger event. If you are on server side and you need to trigger a client event, it's going to be trigger client event and then the name. And on the other end, if it's client side, but you need to trigger its server, it would be trigger server event. Uh, basic rundown, very simple stuff. Uh, if you guys need help, just hop in the Discord. If you don't, uh, if you have any option, any ideas for recording videos, hop in the Discord. There's a channel for that that you could post in. If I'm speaking too fast, fuck you, slow down the video. Uh, thanks for watching.